okay, this is your scratch data again, Matilda. You know we started on variables, right? So today we are going to be finishing up with that by creating a slide presentation with Scratch. So that will be very easy to do. The only thing we need to do is to create scenes and then give it an action that when we click on a button, we are going to have another scene, like different scenes, and then that becomes a slide. So first and foremost, let's choose what to do. I think we should do a slide on different animals. What do you think? Let's see. Let's see what I, what I can do. And then you do yours too. So we we'll delete this. And then let's go and choose our sprites. Okay, let's choose it here. Okay, let's start from a bat. This is a bat. Okay, and then let's, we are going to choose five different um, sprites or animals. This is a Okay, this is um okay. Let's choose uh, not a butterfly. Let's choose a crab. Okay, let's also choose another one. Which one? Which one do you want to choose? Okay, let's choose a dog. Okay, now we have four. Okay, let's make it five. Okay, a dragon. That looks nice. Okay, so we now have five sprites or five characters that we are going to be making into a slide. So then let's create the scene. Let's create scenes for each and every one of them and then we'll start. Okay. So first we'll say when flat clicks. Height. I want them. Oh, I want all of them to hide. So I want each and every one of them to hide. So I'll be copying this. I'll be copying this instruction to each and every of the sprites. Okay, to the five of them. I'll be dropping this. Hide instruction there. So here we have it. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. I think that's okay. Then let's start from the beginning again and start giving our instructions, our slides. Okay. When the A key is pressed, then you show. We want it to show when we press the A key. You show. And then you say. Say. Say hello. I am a bat for two seconds. And then let's do this too. When sorry. When the B key let's make them A, B, C, and D in that order. When the B key is pressed, you show. And then you say, say hello. Hello. I am a bear. Okay, that's cool. This two, we are going to be doing that two.
Okay, so we are going to just copy and then change it so we can save our time. We can just copy and save and change and edit our write ups when the D key is pressed. Okay, when the D key is pressed, say hello, I am a dog. Two seconds and then this one too. When the E key is pressed, say hello. I am a dragon for two seconds. Okay, we are done with this. So let's see. Let's see what we have here. Okay. Everyone is hiding at the moment. So when we press the A key, the bat comes out. When we press the B key, the B comes out. The C key, the crab comes out. The D key, the dog comes out. And the E key, the dragon comes out. But then we have a problem. All of them are on the stage at the same time. So what we are going to do is to make every other character hide while one is on the stage. So how do we do this? So we still say, we still go back to control. So we still go back to events and say, when when a key pressed, okay, when any key pressed, you can say, hide. Okay. We paste it here too. We paste it here. We paste it here too. And we paste it here too. So let's see what we have. Okay, they are all hidden now. We press A key. Okay. You see, when B key is, when the B key is pressed, when the D key is pressed, the any key press didn't work, so that's why we are doing it this way. And the B, C, D, E key is pressed, so our that is going to hide when other keys are pressed for other characters to come up. So, this is the B key. When A is pressed, you have to hide. When A is pressed, you hide. When C is pressed, you hide. When D is pressed, you hide. And then when C sorry when E is pressed hide okay okay we delete this one okay we still go over here and do the same thing okay when this is the C key so when the A key is pressed you should hide to the A, B, the B key here, okay, the C key, sorry, the D key, and then the E key. Okay, so we, we check our dog, we also do the same, we paste it and then we change. So when the A key is pressed, you hide. When the B key is pressed, you hide. When the C key is pressed to hide, and then when E key is pressed to hide. And then we do the same also for our dragon. We paste and then we change. When the A key is pressed to hide, when the B key is pressed to hide, when the C key is pressed to hide, and when the D key is pressed to hide. So that is it. Let's see what we have. Okay, 
all of them are hidden now. So we click A, all right, our bath shows up. We click B, whoa, that's nice, our beer shows up. We click C, our crab shows up, that's nice. We click D, our dog shows up, cool. And then we click E, our dragon. Oh no, the dragon isn't coming up, what's the problem? Oh, sorry, I made a mistake. This is supposed to be D. Okay, so when we now click E, our dragon should up. So this is really nice. This is how you create a scratch um, slide. This is how you create slides with scratch. You create your scenes and then you make them to transition easily. So see you in the next class and thank you.